Well, obviously, Magic Rail was a big flop because the whole script had to be changed because the dumbass Karens thought, you know, a freaking biker guy was scary, but not a freaking 3,000 pound diesel with a claw. That's not scary, right? What is up, guys? Uh, this is kind of interesting news here. Thomas returning to the big screen, apparently. I uh, found out this yesterday. A couple of you guys sent this to me. Some people wanted me to give my thoughts on it. So I'm going to look into this. Uh, first of all, I, I did read uh, a little bit. I saw uh, Thomas World War Z together. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. This is the first things that came to mind was a World War, a, a Thomas movie that takes place th during World War. Now, I know there was, the, well, First of all, I was like, wait, what? And then I remember there was supposed to be a World War II movie back when Hit Entertainment owned the, owned the show. And uh, Nitrogen, I think, was the studio at the time that was supposed to make the movie. It never made it into development. So I thought uh, that's what was happening here. And they were finally doing that. And I was like, why? That's Mattel? But, but uh, no, I read it wrong. It's Mark Forster, the guy who made a movie called <laughs> World War Z. And... Uh, yeah, so that that cleared that up because I was like, I don't know. Well, well, let me just read the article here and I'll uh, give some, give some more thoughts. So, Mattel and production company to do our, I, I had to tell you say it, two ducks. It's probably not that. Uh, are teaming on a feature film based on the Thomas and Friends children's train franchise with World War Z director Mark Forster on board to helm and co-produce. So I know nothing about this guy. I never watched World War Z. Uh, Thomas is a beloved global franchise that focuses on the importance of friendship, a theme that resonates deeply with children and parents around the world. Yeah. Said Mattel Films chief Robbie Brenner, Mark is an incredible storyteller and I look forward to partnering with him to tell Thomas' story in a modern and unexpected way. Bear with me, I don't know why I'm reading like this. <laughs> The companies which announced the project Tuesday said Thomas and Friends will be a four-quadrant family adventure that blends live action and animation. Mattel Films will co-produce the film alongside Forster and Renee Wolf, Wolf <laughs> co-founder and CEO of 2D, I don't know what to pronounce the company, uh, Alyssa Hill, A Taste of Power, don't know what that is, and Jesse Wiggy, to, I don't know, have written the script. No idea who these people are. Brenner and Kevin McKeon will lead the project for Mattel Films. Thomas and Friends celebrating its 75th, 75th, I can't read, damn it. Celebrating its 75th anniversary this year introduces children to the world created. Can't read. Introduces children to the world around them through the wonder and awe of trains. <laughs> The awe of trains, Audrey awe. <laughs> I'm so funny. Shut up. All right. Uh, Thomas was first created in 1945 by Rev. Audrey in stories for her son, Christopher. Tell me something I don't know. Uh, the, today, the character is just as beloved by children as he was when he first chugged down the tracks. Thomas' stories are currently told through the Thomas and Friends television series now in its 24th season. Toys, books, apps, and more when it's <laughs> absolute shit. Uh, Thomas has been a personal favorite of mine since childhood, said Forster. I couldn't be more excited to be working with Robbie and the entire team at Mattel and embarking on this beautiful journey with such a timeless property. Okay, so this guy's been a fan since childhood. How old is this dude? Hold on a second. Just so I make sure, because he better check his facts. Of it. Hey, this dude's 50 years old, but Thomas was a child. That don't add up. Hold on, if he's 50 now, that that then he, Thomas came out in like the late 80s, he would be like, if, if my math is correct, he'd be in his 20s, I think. This dude's lying. <laughs> Why are you lying? Why? Uh, I find it really hard to believe that Thomas was a part of your childhood considering you weren't really a child when it came out. Uh-huh. I don't believe it. Uh, Thomas and Friends. I mean, yeah, lots of older fans like me, but we've been fans since we were in diapers. Which, if you guys are on my Twitter, I got I found some old photos of me when I was little uh, playing with my trains and stuff. Check it out if you want to. Um, Anyway, I don't know. I, I just That line just doesn't make any sense. So, um, 
I don't know, that's really it here. So, like I said, I don't know anything about these people or the team that's writing this. So, um, one thing I can say, it's probably going to be shit because when you're blending live action and CGI, that's just, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know, I'm being biased here. Obviously, live action and CGI works in movies, but as for Thomas, it's not right because we're all used to Thomas the Magic Railroad. Uh, as a theatrical film and live action, it just fit better when they were the models and you can have actual people. It worked. It's not going to be, I don't think it's really going to be as good with CGI Thomas and live action people. That's just, it's going to be really, it'll, it'll put things off a little bit, but so we have no information on what the hell this movie is going to be even about. Um, all we know is that there's a Thomas movie coming. Nobody knows when, you know, what it's going to be about. So, and it's made by Mattel, so obviously they have no plans to sell the rights to Thomas and Friends, which is depressing. Um, and they, well, at least it shows they haven't given up on Thomas, but <laughs> it's only going to get downhill from here. So, I mean, I'm not going to bash on it yet because it's not, you know, really going to be Mattel itself working on it. You know, as you said, they have a team of people here that worked on other movies. So, um, I don't know. We just got to wait and see, wait for more information. Um, yeah, I just, sure, it's cool to see, I mean, I get it's, I mean, as a fan, obviously, it's cool to see a theatrical Thomas film again, but I don't, but it's not going to be as special as Thomas and Magic Rail. Now, obviously, Magic Rail was a big flop because the whole script had to be changed because the dumbass Karens thought, you know, a freaking biker guy was scary, but not a freaking 3,000 pound diesel with a claw. That's not scary, right? It almost threw a guy off a bridge. That's not scary. Who literally was going to kill an engine and a driver. That's not scary. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It is what it is, though. So, um, just got to wait and see. Wait for more information. This is all we got right now. So, you wanted my thoughts. That's my thoughts. As I said, I can't really go off of anything I you know, based on what we know right now, like there's not a whole lot to go off to, so we gotta wait for more details. But uh Yeah, let me know what you guys think below and uh yeah, comment your thoughts. I'm interested in seeing what you guys think about this. Speculate what it's gonna be about. By all means speculate. Comment below what you think the freaking movie's gonna be about. Um Yeah. Anyway. That's all I got. So like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell for each and every upload. If you enjoyed, Twitter, Discord, links are in the description below. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Peace out, everybody.